Hi, good morning. My name is Amanda Moeller and I'm with Legal Graphic Works. And here I wanted to show you some of my favorite graphics and animations that we've used in maritime, oil and gas, and energy related cases. The first one I wanted to walk you through was one of our animations. We use this to illustrate the complexity associated with plugging and abandoning a well. We wanted to start off with the client with an overhead bird's eye view of what it looked like in the Gulf and where exactly this well was located. So we zoom in and I think this is just a really beautiful image of the vessel. And then we show the depth of and complexity of how far it is we're going down to perform this task. And that was really important to the attorneys as well as their client, because there is a lot of expense associated with this. And that was something they really wanted to illustrate was the depth and complexity involved with completing this project. So just wanna roll through and zoom in right here. Here you have the wellhead and blowout preventer. And then they also wanted to show what's going on below the ground level of the ocean. So here you can zoom down to an even further depth and see the spinning of the bit. And then this is exactly how far it is we're talking about. So I just really love that animation. I think it's really beautifully done. This was a 2D graphic that we wanted to show. Um, it's really just a timeline of what happened when there was an explosion associated with drilling. And one of the things we talked about with our client on this case was doing a video animation. And we actually suggested instead to break it up into a PowerPoint so that the attorney could control the receipt of information and it could be used in an easier fashion when examining the expert, when they're going through the timeline of what happened, how it happened, what were the next steps, and that way it could flow with the expert's testimony rather than getting ahead of him. And again, I think this is just really beautiful artwork, um, really well done. A lot of complexity involved here, and obviously we worked with your the attorney's expert in creating this. The next graphic I wanted to show, it's really a, a platform that was damaged, and one of the things they wanted to show was the different pieces and elements of the platform. So again, we worked with their experts on creating this, and we made it so that it's a triggered response. You can click on the item and then you can see the color corresponding with what it is you're talking about. So I think, again, this is just a really nice visual and it worked great with what they were going through with their expert testimony. This case was a helicopter crash case. Uh, it was a crash that resulted from some work being done offshore. And again, here you also have a really nice 2D graphic that we created along with their expert and also allows you to click on what it is you're talking about and then the color lights up, which I think is just a really great way to illustrate a lot of these complex issues and different pieces of equipment that can be a little bit difficult to determine. We also wanted to be able to show, you know, what's happening and the stresses that are being put on the blades of the helicopter and how that might affect the damage that was done. And again, you can add in some nice 2D animation in these. In this case, we are putting together an animation that's showing how some work was supposed to be done versus how the work was actually executed. And I just love how we have the plans there that you just saw. One of the things that was really important was being able to show the difference between these two processes. And we actually used these in a trial very recently. And so I'll just fast forward a little bit, but here you can see 
This is how it was done as per permitted. And then we'll go into how the work was actually executed. And you'll be able to see the differences in the way those two projects were orchestrated. And here you can see we've added in some really nice artwork with regard to the bulldozers. And again, this is very complex. We worked with the experts to create these images, and I just think they came out really, really nice. And then you can get kind of a zoomed in version of what the work was that was being done to these different pipes. And here you also have the plan, and this was the method that was utilized. And one of the things that was also really important was the use or lack of use of the spoil area. This was something that we thought would be a nice thing to show, especially with compared to the two ways in which the projects were done versus the way it was permitted to be done. And so we added that in at the end of this animation, just so you could see exactly what the differences were. And as you can see here in one situation, the spoil area was used in a different manner. And the use of that actually impeded the efficiency of the project. It slowed it down, it made it more expensive. And these were points that were really important to the attorneys to illustrate. The next one and last one I wanna show, these are a few different maps. The first set are some maps of some waterways. And again, these can be really difficult to show. They can, you know, there are a lot of different bayous and passages that can be used. And I think it's really hard for jurors or mediators or arbitrators to be able to see exactly what it is you're talking about. And being able to add in this color, add in the animation, it really kind of zooms in on the area that's being illustrated. And here, you know, you can have a map and then you can have the zoomed in version of that right here. And you can see where the different events occurred. And it keeps people interested. Um, it's kind of done as a build so that the image isn't created all at once. It allows people to follow along with you as you're clicking through your presentation. And it's just a really nice way to make the maps and everything easier to understand and a lot more visually pleasing. And the last one I wanted to be able to show, these were some plans that were part of a Jones Act case. And I know sometimes it can be difficult to explain to jurors or other people, you know, where these events occurred, especially when you're talking about an area that's unfamiliar to them, like an offshore platform or um, a rig or something like that. And so here we added in some animation to show where the plaintiff claims that he was injured. And you can see kind of the zoomed in version and then the larger version of the map on the right. And what was really important to uh, the attorneys to highlight was that the plaintiff's testimony about where they were injured and their report on their accident report did not go along with then their later deposition testimony. So we wanted to make certain we highlighted those two differences. It was really important to highlight this to illustrate, you know, the credibility of the plaintiff. And also, it's just a nice way to show a visual and then go back to your deposition testimony. This is just a really nice call out and a great way to bring to attention some different areas that might be more confusing. So thank you very much. We really appreciate your time. And if you need anything at all, please feel free to contact me. Again, my name is Amanda Moeller, and you can reach me at amanda at legalgraphicworks.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day.